Hi, today we're going to demonstrate how a hot spot volcano forms. For this demonstration, you're going to need an electric heating element, such as an electric cooking surface or a hot plate. We're going to set up our demonstration with a 500 milliliter glass beaker, and then we're going to take some wax from one of these votive candles. To get in order to get it ready for the demonstration, you're going to need to remove the outer wrapping and the wick such as this. Then what you will do is place this at the bottom of your beaker. Something important to know just to make sure you don't um, create shock and crack your glass is to wait to plug in your heat source and start your heat source until you have everything set up. So now that we have our glass uh, beaker set up with our wax, we're going to pour in sand. You want to Pick a fine, a fine grain sand if at all possible. Um, natural sand works, it can be colored, it can be the candle making sand, um, as long as a fine grain glass sand will work. And so we're going to cover up our wax with a thin layer of sand, like so. It's important to note that you don't want to put too much sand as it will take a very long time for this demonstration to go, but at the same time you do not want to add too thin of a layer, otherwise you will not be able to um, actually see bits of the wax coming up. So once we have our sand set up, we're going to carefully pour uh, water. You want to have about double the amount of water for your sand. Now, in order to prevent and make a mess, it's easiest to gently pour down the side so you don't pick up all of your sand as you're pouring. So pour it slowly down the side. So now we're ready to begin the demonstration. We're going to activate the heat source here. Plug things in. And I would go with a rather low setting. Um, again, just to kind of gradual to show uh, students a good demonstration that doesn't end up cracking your beaker. Because as we know, water and electricity do not mix very well. So now we're going to wait for our water to heat up. Once things start to heat up, you should start to see some action. A great idea when showing this to your students is to first ask them to predict what they think will happen before beginning the experiment. So showing them the materials you have and once you've gotten things set up, you can have them re record by making observations and later on inferences and connections to the content. So again, you can use this as an activity to introduce hotspot volcanoes, um, to talk about convection, and to talk about um, movement.